condemn them with the with an overthrow, making them example of those that after should live ungodly, man. So if you live ungodly now, you just remember how he did Sodom, man. It's the same way he's gonna do it, but this time it's gonna be with thermonuclear fire, man. This is Second Peter's two and Second uh, Peter's three. It's like in Second Peter's three and started eight. It says, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. So that's why it seems like it's taking such a long time, because our time is not on the Lord's time. Isaiah 55 tell you his ways are not our ways, man. His thoughts are not our thoughts, man. So a thousand years is one day. So the Lord, hey, it's T minus five and count, man. To the Lord, this has not been a long period of time that we've been in this captivity, man. And it says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, right? He ain't slack concerning it, because he gonna, he, he gonna give it to who he said he's gonna give it to, man. You know? It says, and some men count slackness, but as long suffering to us were not willing that any shall perish, not any of the elect. Because you have a lot of men that come in the truth, and they, they learn the truth, and then they fall out, and they go back into the world, man. And it says, but that all should come to repentance, who the elect. That's who's gonna be, that's gonna come to repentance, man. That's who's gonna, that's who's gonna receive the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding of the scriptures, man. And it says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And that great noise being the thermonuclear missiles, man. And they have been creating these ICBM missiles for years and years. And they will be shot on America, man. It says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works therein shall be burnt up. Everything you see around you are elements, man. The concrete is elements. You have trees, man. The people are even made of elements, man. When you look at the uh, composition of the body, you'll see the different elements that the people are made of. He said the elements gonna be burnt up, man, with fervent heat, man. And it says, see, then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be? And all holy conversation and godliness, man. So be a, be a person of integrity, man. You know, tell the truth, man, be truthful, right? That, that's what it's all about, man, having faith and having that integrity, man. You know, it says, looking forward and hasten unto the coming of the day of the Most High Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. We look for it, we hasten it. We want it to be like yesterday. You know, but the Lord is going to do it the way He's going to do it. When it's time, it's going to be time, man. When He says time, hey, the sun is going to come back and He's going to do damage. And it says, looking forward and hasten unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So all these elements are gonna be burned up. And that's what the scriptures are saying, man. The scripture tell you in Proverbs that all these words appear, man. It said, nevertheless, we according to his promise, right? Look forward to a new heavens and a new earth wherein righteousness dwells. So that's when we're gonna have that peace and safety. But until then, it's gonna be no peace on this place. Ain't no safety in America, man, for the Israelites, man. Every morning you wake up, there's a chance you go out, you might not make it. So that peace and safety is coming when the Lord comes back, man, and destroys this place, man. You know, that's where that peace and safety is gonna take place, man. Uh, let's see, uh, let's see, Revelation, man, my Bible is ripping up, Revelation 21 and 1, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth will pass away, this is Esau's kingdom, man, this kingdom that you see right now is going to be gone here in a few, man, the Lord is getting ready to bring thermonuclear destruction to this place, man, and it says, and there was no more sea, and I, John, saw the holy city of Jerusalem, New Jerusalem, right? Coming down from heaven, from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. He saw that New Jerusalem, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans, the elect men coming from them ships out of the, out of the heavens, man. So this first heaven, heaven and this first earth gonna be, gonna be passed away by thermonuclear destruction. Esau's kingdom, man. And the Lord gonna raise up, he gonna raise us up, it's gonna be the strangers of their salvation. They gonna look up and see us being beamed up, man. They're not gonna believe it, right? And that day is coming, man. Whoa, 
World War III is coming. Man, you better look at the news, man. They sending troops to Iran as we speak right now. And Iran is one of the major players of Russia, man. They gonna bring this World War III right to the grounds of America, man. That's why it's called in Isaiah the 47th chapter, the virgin daughter of Babylon. Because nobody has brought war to the shores of America. But they get ready to bring war right in the face of America through thermonuclear destruction. That's said the Bible, man. And with that, man, a Bob, a Bob, all praise, honor, and glory be to the Heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, the Jehemans who rule well, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. A Bob, a Bob, Shalom.